I'm Deb Dedrick, Certified High Performance Coach and Expert Guide to Leading a Happy Life and I'm here with Nana today and as you can tell we're here to celebrate the holidays. Merry Christmas! We love the holidays and we hope you do too but one of the things that comes up during the holidays is kind of getting into arguments maybe about how to manage our money during the holidays with our loved ones and so today we're going to have a couple of tips about how to manage your money and to manage your relationships and spare them during the holidays. But first I wanted to let everybody know tomorrow is Nana's birthday. Yes. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. She's, she's uh, 49 years young. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, I will just do this really quickly. Forgive me if I go off key. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nana. Happy birthday to you. And just to go off topic, for those of you that don't know us, Nana and I have been together for many, many years, and this is my mother-in-law. Oh, and This is my daughter-in-law. And I would really like to throw this out for everybody to think about. There's, just, there's this notion in society that when you get married, you're supposed to not like your mother-in-law or your mother-in-law is not supposed to like her new daughter-in-law and I think that's such a a horrible oh. waste of relationship because if two women love the same man and they want the best for their man they should be able to get along and have respect for their each other's relationship absolutely and it doesn't have to be pick him or me or pick her or not or whatever that is just I think it should be a loving relationship and Nana was the first relationship with a woman in my life pretty much that was a successful one and thank you so that's just off topic so let's go back to what we were talking about how to manage your money during the holidays so the first thing let's just get some input for Nana what do you think well I know how you just love to spend money at the holidays well, I love to spend money on my grandchildren, <laughs> and uh, they love to receive the money too. I used to give them for the birthday for their ages, but now they're getting older. <laughs> Money's sad enough, but I still don't care. I love them all. I love my daughter-in-law. So, oh, so daughter what about managing their money, Nana? Well, I tell them to, as I say myself. If you were going to tell me how to manage my money when I'm going to go out shopping, what would you tell me? Well, you'd tell me not to go, right? No, I think you could go, but only afford what you have. I don't believe in all this charge cards and all this jazz and then having weeks and months and months to pay for it. You think they should use cash? Well, I use cash. Um, I think that's a good way. And then you know what you have and what you've got left because Christmas is over with very quickly and then you have all that money then you've got to think about to pay back. I know. It. And that's what not what Christmas is all about. What about not only using cash and what about tracking your spending? Yes, that too. That too, yes. Because it's really easy when you get busy during the holidays and you're out and you're even if you're using cash, if you're not tracking it, and I've done this a lot you, you forget what you buy and then if you get ready to wrap like the night before and you have all this stuff mm -hmm. and so tracking spending would be good what about sticking to a plan well right now with my grandchildren as old as they are now my youngest one Sam is 20 so they really have everything they need for themselves so I just give them money certain amount of money and um, they do you do get it. an agreement with granddad on that or do you just no I never ask granddad you because just do he, it. I just uh, he doesn't care he and doesn't he always care. leaves that to me okay but a lot of people don't agree on how much money to spend on each other and on the kids and then the extended family so I think getting on the same page about getting a getting a plan you know with your whoever you're going to be spending money with but to myself it's just like my birthday tomorrow i don't care for presents i've got anything i need i have good health actually i'll be 83 and i would just love it if they remember to send me a birthday card that's all i asked for well if that's the case because i didn't send the card yet 
do you mind getting late cards? No, not at all. For not the grandkids that might have forgotten. Not at all, one bit, no. But going back to our plan, and by the way, I think you really do like presents, don't you? Oh, yeah, I mean, yes. Let's not just count yes. how but we not like just presents. at Christmas time. Uh, Christmas right. time is, a, is to me, as a good Christian as I think I am, I think it's just for the birth of Jesus and for what that can cause. So, whatever, whatever you want to do. A little present is nice, but they don't have to spend a lot of money on money they don't have. And in getting an agreement. I, yes. I struggle with that because my love language was gifts and I like getting gifts. So for those of you women that aren't getting the gifts that you want from your loved ones and you're feeling disappointed, my suggestion to you is buy your own present and wrap it and put it under the tree and then you have what you want. Well, that's a good idea. And that then you're not then you're not disappointed. So your expectations are getting met right. and you're not and don't go overboard of course. Right. But if you can then then you're getting what you want. Whoever said where was it written that you have to have your your boyfriend, lover, spouse, husband, whatever has to meet those ideas that you have in your head because they don't probably know what what they are, right? True, true. So get an agreement. And if, if you aren't getting what you want at Christmas, go buy it for yourself. Buy Grab it up and put it under the tree. That's a good idea. That's a good and idea. to go back over what we talked a little bit about, we were going to use cash. Yes, yes. We were going to track it. So it's not this vague notion, vague, oh my gosh, we get the credit card bill in, in January and I spent $3,000 and mm -hmm. now I have to hide the credit card bill because we're going to be in trouble if that gets out, right? <laughs> we don't want that. True, we want to get an agreement and we want to agree on how much we're going to spend and we're going to stick to it. We're not going to cheat. And the reason we aren't going to cheat is because we're in agreement, right? right. And then the last thing, other than to wish Nana a happy birthday, happy birthday, Nana. Thank you. We're going to remember the reason for this season. Right? Exactly. The reason exactly. for this season is not to go out and kill ourselves buying gifts and presents and oh, uh, braving them all, which, oh my gosh, that's that's horrible mm -hmm, sometimes. Mm -hmm. But if any, just off topic, this is so funny. Have you ever been to the mall on Christmas Eve? Did you notice it's all men? <laughs> That's true. That was years ago. I haven't been It's still the same. It's but I think same. now they do a lot of their spending on Amazon, so they don't go out. Oh, but yes, I mean, yes. predominantly it was all men, so that was kind of mm -hmm. entertainment. So we're just going to send this out to you and hope it helps you um, get through the holidays and spare your relationships and spare hurt feelings and spare ruined budgets. And we want you to go out and have a really wonderful weekend. True. And true. we want Nan to have a nice, happy weekend. And we encourage you to follow some of these guidelines to help you lead a life of excellence. And if you can learn to communicate effectively with your loved ones, it will build enduring relationships. It will build relationships that meet your needs. And remember, you can meet your own needs too. True. So I'll go out there and make it a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.